Right, it's uh, moving day to day and Jonathan's just flashing up the engine. Um, we've been here for our 14 days and they say it is moving day to day. So we're going to do a little jolly getting water. Um, we are about a quarter of a mile away from it. So the sensible thing to do, instead of reversing her back, and she's not very good at reversing, um, we're gonna move forward, the winding holes shortly in front of us. We're gonna win there, uh, come all the way back, top up the water, and then once we've filled up the water, we're gonna go through the bridge to the, the other winding hole, turn round, and then come back to where we are at this present moment, and then we're gonna move on to find another mooring. So it's going to be toing and throwing, toing and throwing until we get the, the mooring. Um, see you in a bit. Welcome to Never Enough Cruising. I'm Amanda. I'm Jonathan. And today we're on a off to find a new mooring. However, what we have to do first of all is to go and get some water. As we did last time. As we did last time, but this is slightly different. That's got to shift out the way a minute. It's been two weeks and uh, tank's almost empty again. Yeah, almost empty. If the water point is actually a quarter of a mile behind us, um, hmm. We've got to go and turn around at the winding hole, which is a mile in front of us. Yeah, and then come go back. back top <laughs> up, go to the next winding hole, which is about a quarter mile the other side, and swing round and come back this way. Mind you, it makes for a longer cruise, doesn't it? It does make for a longer cruise. Um, the problem we've got is up in front of us, about three miles, is lock um, 51 and 52 going up to the summit. Lot 52, this is the second one out of four, is broken and it's going to be another 10 days before it's fixed. So that, what date's that? 9th of July. Yeah. So they're starting on the 6th and finishing on the 9th, allegedly. Um, hopefully they'll get it done in time because there's so many boats waiting to go up over the summit to go east on the K&A. Yeah. Um, and we just, we just got to wait until it's ready. There's nothing yeah. we can do. I and mean, when we've been at Pusey for the last couple of weeks, about 14 days, yeah. and, and I've just remarked to Jonathan, I, I don't think I've ever seen so many boats. More than up there. Well, well, spots where you can see a lot of boaters have got cars with them, and uh, there's not that many spots. Um, where you've got good access and free parking. So those spaces tend to be wedged with boats. 
Uh, people work. I don't know they go out to work every day, so. Yeah, more people are going back to work since um, lockdown because yeah. of the easing of restrictions. So we've noticed that a lot more. Um, but yes, it's a bit difficult. So we, Jonathan had a walk last night to see um, a far little spot that we like down here. Nice this end solar spot. is available, which it is. Um, so we've already taken the car down when he did last night, didn't we? Yeah. And walked back. Um, and that's what we're doing today. But <laughs> to go and get water yeah, a bit is of a, cruise first. a bit of a cruise. So it's going to take probably how long to turn down here um, to back again? To half, get to the hour point? To, half hour to go up to the window. Oh, yeah. Half hour back. To top up the water was going to take approximately half an hour. Yeah. And 35 course, minutes last time. Was it? Yeah. Long job because we were almost empty. We're virtually um, that way now, yeah, aren't we? We are. I don't think it's showing anything on the gauge. Um, <laughs> mind you, that thing's not that accurate anyway. No, is it? But it's okay. But um, and well, shooting. About, about two hours then. About two just, hours just to get the water before we then go on to our our new mooring point. Um, and it's sparrow o'clock in the morning at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Probably just touching eight o'clock. Oh, maybe just past. Just past. It's just past before we left. Um, the field opposite us last night. Um, I actually stood and watched the beautiful barn owl do several circuits of the field last night. I was out walking the dogs, so that was really lovely to see. Um, but yes, it's been quite nice. Haven't seen a kingfisher. I think no. I might have caught a glimpse, very flash, when we were here first of all, which was probably what I don't know, 12 days ago. Haven't seen one since. So that's quite strange. Heron, we have lots of herons here. Yeah, Terry, he's, yeah. he's working his he's way busy. up in front of us. He's busy. Um, shooting the footage in this vlog uh, completely different on a completely different camera. So hopefully we've got a better results as well with the sound. Um, we've the just got to, today. winds dropped today, but we have to get used to where the lens is. Um, it's completely different. So if we're looking in the opposite pointy direction, finger. pointy finger is over yeah. here and we keep looking in the wrong way, So, which is weird because we can see ourselves, which is odd as we're recording. We don't normally see that. No. Um, so I do apologise. Who's that good looking chap next to you? <laughs> I didn't see him in the mirror yeah. this morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, on with the journey. Jonathan's in the winding hole now. My task is the tea. And I've got a really lovely new kettle. So, brews up. See you in a bit. This is the first of the winding holes. It's 72 foot long and I'm going to speed up the footage. Well, we've winded and uh, we're heading back now to the water point. So we started yeah, off. We're almost back where we started. I'm not really sure what time it is, but um, no, I haven't got to have a check. So we've had a we've had a coffee we've got break. Ten pounds, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, and a tea break. So and it's rained. It's nice. So good morning to a couple of other boaters. 
now heading into the water point. So about five minutes. Yeah, about five minutes. We're just about to, We're just pass about to where pass. we started from. Yeah. An hour or so or whatever. An hour or so, okay. So, yep. So we'll catch up with you later. Life in the fast lane. <laughs> Topped up with water, we now head to the next winding hole and then onwards to find a new mooring.
the second winding hole, another 72 foot one, and again I've speeded up the footage. Well, we've um, got the water, we've turned round, and we're now heading back to, we started our cruise. In fact, it's taken us three hours and 20 minutes to get back to our original starting point. What's the time now? It's, it's almost half past 11. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We haven't been nowhere. No, we've just passed our place twice. Yeah, it's all about slow boating. So, so we started just after 8 o'clock this morning and we did actually pass our original mooring point at 20 past 11. Uh, so we really haven't achieved much really. We've only been about 3 miles. Yeah. And the foxes thought they were slow doing their times. Yeah. We're now heading off to our new mooring point and the um, sun's, sun's coming out, we've been rained on, we've been all sorts of things, caught up with a fellow boater. Yeah, his, his, holes are full. his boat was built by the same manufacturer as this one, which is Les Allen, back in the 80s. Hello Les, and I do apologise for editing you out <laughs> as we passed your boat for yeah, the last words. Time, yeah. The next time I go past, I promise faithfully, Les, I will film your boat. <laughs> yeah, he came down to speak to you, didn't he? Yeah, he told me off. Why did you cut me out? You showed my brother, but you cut me out. Yeah. So that's, that hasn't gone down well. So I do apologise, Les, once again, and I promise, I promise, I will film you next time we come past. Don't know when it's going to be. No. 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 Um, yeah, so hopefully we've got rain forecast this week, mess of the week this week, isn't Tomorrow's it? Tomorrow's wet, I think. First is the best day. Yeah. Because today is Tuesday. Yeah. Today Tuesday. is Tuesday. Um, it's a strange day for me tomorrow because tomorrow is the anniversary of my my brother passing, so that was a year ago. And I have to say this last year since he's passed away has been awful. Yeah, it's been a strange one way or another. Year. Yeah, very strange to so lose my brother. Um, so yes, it's been strange the family all together. So we've been through a lot this year, this past year, I must say. Yeah. Right, it's, uh, we're heading off to our latest mooring. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and we'd love you to subscribe to the channel. It really does help. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. You can come across to Patreon and become a patron. We'll see you next time.